project is going to be removing the center console, the instrument cluster, so that I can replace the gauge with the dual gauge um, oil pressure and water temperature. Right now, as, uh, as I've mentioned in the past, is a uh, shift indicator and water temperature. So uh, without further ado, let's get going. All right, so another, the first thing we're gonna need is a security torx. So I don't know if you could see this, but it's a security torx. That's the only way you're gonna get this off. because the steering wheel moves. The steering wheel will, uh, rack will move. So I want something that's gonna blast this thing off very quickly. So, here's something that's unexpected. I've never seen this before. This sort of tape is what brings the electricity to the, to the steering wheel. And it's all wound up, and of course when I pulled the steering wheel off, that kind of, uh, that went all over the place. So it's gonna be interesting to put all of that back together. Now all I'm doing in this case is removing these, uh, the flappy paddles. So I got a screw here, a screw here, so I don't have to take the steering wheel very far away. You'll also notice that I, I marked the steering wheel with these uh, hopefully you can see that, that these two little marks that correspond to the washer that's inside the steering wheel so that I can put it exactly where it was. So you want to make sure that you mark this uh, and then uh, yeah we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing this in the sunroom, uh, the answer is no particular reason at all. It was a nice fall day, so I thought I'd work out here. Uh, all right, so we have, here's the double gauge, and here is the new one. Just to give you an idea, these are very, very hard to find, and uh, I think I paid a thousand euros for this. So this is the new piece. And as I talked about before, there's, here's the plug-in. It's exactly the same. It doesn't have one up here. So my hope is that because this is exactly the same as this here, it's already pre-wired to do the oil pressure. I hope. I don't know that necessarily the case, but like I said, no one, I've never heard of anyone having to do any soldering when doing the conversion. So I'm gonna find out once the car gets turned back on. So let's see here. Very cool. Very cool. Now, 
Now the next question is whether or not I can remove down here is the light for the for the transmission and that's going to be glowing pretty much forever so because I removed the F1 box. So the question is can I remove just the light and if you look I believe this is the one. So can I remove that? And so there's the the light. I just removed it. So hopefully that won't do anything too crazy to the uh, to the car. But now I I won't have that light either. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. All right, you'll join me back in the car where I will replace where I'll replace this. All right, so thanks for sticking with me. The um, the fat flappy panels are out. The gauge is swapped. The uh, steering wheel is back on, uh, and I did remove the, uh, the 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 light for the uh, for the F1 error message, which is uh, which is nice because that was a little bit on the annoying side. Uh, beyond that, the only thing is that the uh, oil pressure is going all the way to 100% as soon as I turn on the ignition, even with the engine not running. So obviously that's not right, but it does indicate to me that the gauge is not broken. The gauge is actually okay. It's not a plug and play like I thought. So that's, that's actually very bad news. So we'll have to uh, see about, uh, I'll have to talk to the, the people in the Ferrari chats to find out what exactly I can do about that because uh, yeah, obviously that's, that's not going to work. So maybe it's something that I have to kind of hot wire, which I really was trying to avoid. But one way or another, we'll, uh, we'll have to figure that one out. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, you know, like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video.